affects everybody. So let's go and work on this one. Um, hopefully you guys recognize in this case, this is going to have, hold on a second. If we're going to remember this is your R and this is your theta. So we're going to have two rings. So one, two. We know 11 pi over 6. Hopefully in starting the standard form, guys, that's going to be in the fourth quadrant. It's going to be pi over 6 away, right? So there would be our coordinate points. Did you have a question on this, Greg? Yeah. Is that what we're just doing for that? You could. I mean, that would be a rectangular equation. So that's not what we're doing in this case. But that, I mean, that is a different representation of a point. So, so like, your interpretation is not wrong. But what I, I guess, give me three different representations in polar form would have been a better way to describe what I was looking for. Um, so now we could use 11 pi over 6. But guys, in reality, do we have to use 11 pi over 6? No. Why don't we just use? to negative pi over 6, right? There's nothing, does that give you the same point? Yes. And then from there, we know that there's infinite many answers because all you got to do is add and subtract 2 pi, right? So I mean, I'll just, I'll just throw out a whole bunch of them. We could do negative 13 pi over 6. We could do 2, 23 pi over 6. I mean, the sky's the limit. So typically, this would be a great question on a multiple choice and basically saying, hey, here's these angles. Which one of these don't work, right? Or which one of these would not be a representation? Um, however, there is another one that gets confusing. So this is the one we got to explain, because there is another one. There is another representation. So I want you guys to think about this coordinate point down here. This coordinate point, um, it's a positive and it's a negative point, right? Now think about this. X equals, now if you're going to do exactly um, what you're talking about, Evangeline, X equals R times cosine of theta. Mm -hmm. And Y equals R times the sine of theta. So when you do that for all of these points, right? think about negative pi over 6. That is in the fourth quadrant. All of these angles are in the fourth quadrant, mm -hmm. correct? So when you do R times, pi, times sine and cosine, you're going to get positive negative. But could you also get a point that's negative positive and then multiply it by a negative number? Because remember, r is really like a scalar, right? If you think about this, this is really r times cosine of theta, sine of theta. r is a scalar. So could you think about, like, what if this was negative positive and then you're multiplying by a negative number? Would that work? It, again, that's what I'm telling you. I don't want you to think about the radius as being negative. Because it isn't. You're right. It's still like the distance is still 2. But could it be in a negative direction? And yes. So here, here is like your point. If you do the reflection about the origin, the reference angle is still the same. But now we can represent this as a negative 2 because it's being reflected across. And then what would this angle be? It still has the same reference angle, which is? Pi over 6. So what, what's one representation for this? 5 pi over 6. Could you do a negative one? 7 pi over 6. OK, now what I'd like you guys to try, you guys can type this into your calculator. Type any one of these into your calculator for x and y. You're going to get whatever those coordinate points are. And guess what? If you type in it this way, negative 2 times the cosine of 5 pi over 6. And if you do y equals negative 2 sine of um, 5 pi over 6, you're going to get the same answers. The reason being, watch this. So again, like let's do the original problem. x equals 2 cosine of 11 pi over 6. And y equals 2 sine of 11 pi over 6. Is the cosine of 11 pi over 6 and the cosine, OK. Cosine of 11 pi over 6 is positive or negative? Cosine. Positive. 2 is positive. Positive times a positive is going to give you a positive. Correct? Good. Sine of 11 pi over 6 is negative. 2 is positive. Positive times a negative is going to give you a negative term. Do you guys agree with me that the 11 pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6 have the same, have the same coordinate point on the unit circle? 
They have the same reference angle. They're going to have the same coordinate points. The positive and negatives are different, but they have the same coordinate points. So over here, cosine of 5 pi over 6, is that positive or negative? Hold on. Negative. Negative. Negative times a negative is, or and that's a negative too. Negative times a negative is the same thing as a positive times a positive. The sine of 5 pi over 6 is what? Positive. Negative 2. Negative times a positive is the same thing as a positive times a negative. You're going to get the same points. Plug them into your calculator if you don't believe me. But you can use, and again, don't think of it as like a negative radius, but think of it as a reflection about there of the scalar. Yes? So if I said for the answer it's one of the representations, if I said negative 2, comma, pi, uh, 5 pi over 6, that would be an answer to it? Yeah. Because they have, because, um, that is the exact same as that. Yeah, they basically it's basically a reflection. Yeah. Yes. So a cheap way to kind of remember this is basically it's just a reflection of the origin. Like just the point across the origin. So that will make more sense when we do the next example. Okay?